Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight is Jaguar Ooh, Night. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Come on, Jaguar. You can do it. I have to kind of lean it back. There uh, we go. Good stuff. Right beside Bernie. Yep. Don't do it again. Don't. Bad cats. <laughs> Uh, tonight we're going to be playing three Jaguar games, yeah. three Jaguar homebrew games. You uh, all, you all, uh, the quest for money uh, from 2017, Biopede from 2020, and R Type Two from 2021. R Type Two. And the last Very two cool. games are from uh, Reboot slash Cyrano J, who is nice. in the chat. Hey, Cyrano. And um, maybe Mars will be in the chat later. Nice. Who uh, did the graphics for Uwal or uh, helped convert Uwal. But we'll talk about that in a bit. First, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling down the side beside Tanya there. Alan the Firearms Car Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Bartari's Maximus, BR Pocock, Charles Donnie Mal, Charles Whelan. He's already at it. Uh, Chit Lidla, Colonel Lama, Dianoid, Danny VC, Drexel, Dr. Mook, House, Gamma Dev, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny WC, Computer Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Croco 2600, Kvaltifer, Lambda Express, Lord DTZ, Marco Yohannes, Mark Space, and Molotov 1960. Carl G just resubscribed. Thank you so much. Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latell, Miss Command, MK Smith, M Mother 3, Mr. Zarnwood, Mr. Fix, Nathan Storm, Nostalgic, Cog 2600, Raymond C, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Brentless VG, Cory Carter, Pim Smitty, B, Spice Warrior, Samir, Teleprompter, D Train, Tiki Dan, K Trek, MD, Urban Monkey, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X. Uh, and if you want to support the show like Carl G just did and get rid of all the ads, and keep these cats well fed in treats because your contributions go directly to these cats treats they're very happy when they get treats during the show um it's free yeah, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, there we go six sweet subscribed and carl g redeem redeem treat time so Woo, hype train is closed he subscribed and also gave the cat yeah. treats it's a double whammy uh-oh uh-oh Stinky. Oh, smell it already. How did that happen? Um, so it's cat <laughs> treat time right off the bat. Now Atari won last time. Oh. So let's see who wins this time. Uh, All right. Who started? It was noisy. I couldn't oh. really hear. Sprite definitely did. Atari, Atari did, Smack it. did hit it. I would he give did. one to him as well. Okay. So now it's 2-1 one. for Sprite. Yeah, there's one. And remember to throw sprites way off. Yeah. And we have to shut this door. Yeah. I don't want to make it nice and fair. Yeah. Hit it, Atari. Hit it. Go you can do it. Oh, smack oh, it harder. 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 Oh, oh no. Oh, three, one for sprite. <laughs> Come on, Atari. Oh, hit it. Here, maybe I'll put it there. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> three, two for smack sprite. Smack it a little harder. <laughs> I missed Atari winning. Yes. yes. It was It was during... Um, <laughs> uh after dark so yeah so and it's he actually won. a very quite a tight race and then there's some shenanigans Ooh. Ooh, tied up three all <gasps> are you gonna take that line down sprite are you gonna go over and ring atari's bell no he's backing up he's thinking about ringing his own oh, four three for atari. atari oh he's got some gusto now yeah he does four three good kitty don't look at me you hit the Keep bell going Oh my five God. three for Atari. <laughs> five three. Oh, oh. five four. Woo. Sprite is not taking that. Ooh, Atari takes the lead. Uh, five four for Atari. That is very unusual <laughs> to take the lead. It is. Oh, 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 six five. They both rang at the same time. Six five for Atari. Still, can you believe it? Can you keep it up? Come on, Atari. Six five. Seven oh, five. He's seven. pulled ahead a two point lead. Oh my goodness. Seven five. Atari. For, oh, seven, seven six. six for Atari. Very unusual saying Atari's name. Oh, oh. eight six for Atari. Wow. He's keeping that two point lead. Eight seven. No <laughs> ding, double ding. ring doesn't work. <laughs> eight seven for wow. Atari still. Oh, it's gonna ring it. Oh, at the same time. Yeah. Nine eight. Come on, Atari. All right. You it's had a two-point lead. You're falling behind a little bit. Game point. Who's going to... Uh-oh. He's back nine, first. Nine, nine, eight? Nine, eight. Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna, that wasn't hard enough. 
That did not count. Oh, oh nine, nine all. Nine, nine who's, all tied who's up. Next one. Come who's on, Atari. Next one, Atari. Come on, Atari. Bring you can it. win it. Bring it. Come on, buddy. Bring it. Harder. Oh, harder, harder. 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 Oh, harder. Harder. Oh, no. 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 Atari oh. here. There you go. There's so your ten. close. It was so close. We were so close to seeing another Tari victory. Smacking it quite hard enough. But oh, he is, buddy. He is picking up his he game. Is. He so is. No. It's a very it's good effort. Nostalgic. Very good effort. Aww. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, take a look. <laughs> At this, I did talk about this in After Dark, but oh, yes. not, maybe not a lot of people no. knew. I fixed my Atari 7800. Woo! Woo! And when I went to fix it, I plugged it in and it was working. And I was like, what What the hell's going on? Mm. It wasn't working down here and took it to the, the, the bench upstairs. I plugged it in to Composite and S-Video. They both worked. Mm -hmm. um, can you open the door? Getting hot. Oh, all right. And... Um, then I started jiggling the wires for the um, S-Video um, adapter, I guess, mm -hmm. um, to make an S-Video output and composite output. And it was cutting in and out. And then I isolated which wire was cutting in and out. And it was the chroma wire. And so it was down on a screw block. So I unscrewed it, twisted it back up, put it back in it, screwed it down to the chroma. Mm -hmm. And then it was solid. And I wiggled it, solid. So we're back in business with the 7800, which is excellent, excellent news. So we can play it again on the stream. <laughs> I hurried through the game so Sprite wouldn't start destroying the tchotchkes. Yeah. And pro <laughs> that might have been, it could have been the reason why, why Sprite was... was so upset and yeah. destroying the whole background here. <laughs> he was mad. He was mad. <laughs> um, so let's go to um, the mail got this hours ago mm. Mm. it is cuphead for ps4 mm -hmm. i've been wanting to get this for a long time mm. um it's been out digitally forever and then it took them a long time to put the put it onto um a hard, hard copy yeah. of it on a disc i know it's been in your wish list for a long oh, time years yeah years and years yeah um and this includes all the bonus content nice. and the price just dropped there you go recently and that's <laughs> why i bought it so nice it's uh a boss rush it's just all bosses yeah which yeah. is i've seen something I've seen the footage from it that so. i'm really looking forward to and it looks amazing yeah i watched um the first episode of the cartoon it's for kids yeah <laughs> it was <laughs> it was looked amazing but it was like uh, this is very boring yeah <laughs> unfortunately i'm sure the game will be fun though oh yeah yeah, yeah. it looks very challenging yeah, yeah which is does. great yep um so we've been keeping track of the now the RM eight hundred XL, which is a recreation, reimagining, possibly an FPGA, I believe, a version of the eight hundred XL, which is the um, eight hundred eight uh, Atari eight bit that we use on the show, um, and this promises to have you know everything awesome about it, uh, HDMI output all. Just all the bells and whistles. I'm sure it's expensive, but there has been an update to this. Interesting update. Um, they posted a couple of days ago about an email they received. It mm. said, the email we received was like this. What do you think about it? And if you go into it, it is from a law firm called the Clintons. Uh, cease and desist. Mm. We act for the UK game. You get, probably guys can't see it, but we act for the UK gaming uh, design and manufacturing company. Actually, I open this up, and maybe we can zoom in a bit. Yeah, there we go. Manufacturing company Retro Games Limited. Our client, as you know, our client has been for many years a proprietary of rights in certain home computer designs. Our client is the exclusive global hardware partner for Atari for its eight bit and 16 bit home computers exclusive rights etc 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 we mm. further note that our clients rights include the trademark atari as registered in poland interesting um because the the, the rights owners is different is it well the people in the people making this new machine are in poland so okay if so they that, were that's possibly releasing it in poland that's what matters is where they are 
Yeah. And if they're releasing in the UK, then you would have to look into rights in the UK, etc., etc. Yeah. But as far as they know, it's they're looking at it in in Poland. Um, so I have a watch on their web page for any differences that that happen because I want to know. Oh, what what are the updates? If they yeah. have their web page updates, and I follow them on Twitter as well. Um, as soon as this came out, um, there is an update okay. um, to my watch list, and this is the difference, and it highlights the differences um, when they changed the web page. Oh, funny! And the only change that they did is they removed the word Atari. Oh, of course. Uh, immediately, as soon as they got that, they got letter, the cease and desist order, which. You Doesn't know, that's change. really what they complained about yeah. in this. Is the like word you, Atari. You like, can't literally. use the word Atari. Wow. Um, so, yeah, they, they removed the word Atari. Um, this is not a replica, but a new incarnation of the best 8-bit computer from Atari in uh. 1983. And they changed it to, this is not a replica, but a new incarnation of the best 8-bit computer from 1983. <laughs> <laughs> Which is more specific. <laughs> um, so now they're claiming it's better than the Commodore 64. Not just the best Atari. That, that could cause some controversy <laughs> in and of itself. But I think, I think people will forgive forgive them. Oh for... yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and it is a very good system. Yeah. That's for sure. That is funny. Tricky, tricky. Tricky, yeah. tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now the only other thing that they could get in trouble for is any software included. Oh, that's related um, to the old company? Or if the design is still um like, like patented, patented but i believe some people looked it up and the patent went away a expired. long time ago because okay, this is a 40 year old oh, machine yeah. yeah um so i think they're in the clear for that as long as they don't put the words atari on it yeah possibly 800 xl but they could name that just rm 800 and just not RM800 XL. Or call it but, something. Like yeah, different. so yeah. it totally depends because they still have RM800 XL there. Yeah. But I'm sure they now have a lawyer that they've retained to make sure they're Hopefully. on the up and up. Yeah. Because they haven't backed down. They're they're still going for it. Good. So if you look at their um, Twitter feed, mm. um, they're updating it. Last part of the message. They posted like the whole email they got even wow. the part that says don't post our email <laughs> which well, is yeah, yeah it's asking someone not to post does not guarantee that you're not going to post it so that's right yeah it's like you yeah. can ask yeah but yeah and they also included <laughs> um pictures of it too i yeah. don't know what they're implying there interesting um yeah intellectual property certification um did they mention something about no they didn't say anything about the design um mm. they only said really about the name um <laughs> so we'll see maybe i didn't read it right but i'm not a lawyer so uh <laughs> lawyers out there can read through that if they want um so but it's interesting following this along and i'll be interested to see how much the system costs. Um, it's probably going to cost less than mine that I bought with all the upgrades. With okay. VBXE, yeah. U1MB, um, up, an upgraded output, wow. and it's all nice and clean. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Um, because I'm guessing it's going to have an FPGA in it, mm. but it also has a keyboard, a newly made keyboard. Possibly, most likely, mm. because the keys look different than the other than one. Than the original. Yeah, yeah, some people have been doing, looking at it and saying, no, this is a different keyboard. They're not just taking parts from an old 800 XL. They're making a new keyboard, which is not uh, inexpensive to make tons of all new keys and mm. stuff. But depends how you do it. Uh, I'm guessing they might need to provide a different BIOS and or not the original built-in basic. Yeah, yes, because that be software is not expired yeah, yeah yeah that's fair enough and that's sometimes what they have to do uh no there's not a clip of it but if you go to my uh the clip of sprite destroying things and going nuts if you go to the uh zero page homebrew thread on the atari H forums yeah i put a picture up there actually i yeah. will go to it because it's very yeah. funny <laughs> well the, there is a clip of it because it's part of the the yeah and i linked directly to the youtube 
um, to the spots. place. Yeah, to yeah. the place where he steals this stuff. So, so let's yeah, it's very take cute. <laughs> a look at what I wrote here. Yeah, the bad cat. If you missed tonight's <laughs> warning, cat burglar. If you missed tonight's <laughs> zero-page homebrew after dark, there was a mysterious cat burglar who stole our Susu Watari slash Soot Sprite. Uh, while we're distracted playing Uzi Goo Maze Quest. The item is usually behind us on the couch. This little guy from Ghibli Studios yeah. Films, specifically uh, my neighbor Totoro. That's a great Lance shot. Yeah. Oh, he's so oh, cute. Thanks for following Stone Cold G4. Nice, um, thank you. The item is usually behind us on the couch, but it now could be anywhere. Bernie <laughs> was also lost in the shuffle. Oh, oh God. Oh no, don't knock over the Jaguar. Okay. Lost in the shuffle, uh, yeah. lost in the kerfuffle. Yeah. Uh, but was later recovered. Yes. The cat burglar was dressed all in black, has yellow eyes, a fluffy tail, goes by the alias Sprite, <laughs> and is very food motivated. He is not very dangerous, but is armed with 20 claws, so be careful out there. Yeah. <laughs> Posted below is the only known image of the suspect retrieved off of the badly damaged security camera hard drives. <laughs> Once the show is posted on YouTube, you may be able to catch a glimpse of the crime if you watch it uh, from... Oh, God. Doubled up. If you watch it from that one hour, 25 minute mark. Yeah. So there's the cat burglar. Yeah. And with the soot sprite in his mouth. Which we didn't even notice because the soot sprite is basically the same color as sprite. So are you going to put it... You got to play it. It's so yeah, cute. Yeah, we'll play it in full screen here. <laughs> it's so cute. It's super cute. And then if you stick around to the end, you'll see us figure out when exactly he um, did the stealing. So. But, um, Kitten, I bet you have to... Oh, get it! Oh, there he is. Lots of food. Up and behind keep us. Going, keep going. Keep running. That's a dead end there. Oh, and he's knocked <laughs> Bernie down with his <laughs> fluffy <laughs> tail. You never hit it, Just right? It's up this way. Right? He's still rummaging around. That opens the door. And he's grabbing in his Just mouth. And he's off! <laughs> And you can see him on the cat cam, cat wandering cam. away. Oh, he is a okay. naughty, Did naughty, I, fluffy no, cat. No. I don't know if I got the right. It was so funny, and we didn't notice. We didn't even notice he did Until a couple minutes later when he was, like, chewing it in the hallway. Yeah. So bad. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome for the welcome for the thank you. Yeah. Sprite's busted. Yeah. Yep. yep. And we rewinded it live on the show. To and reviewed the footage to figure out <laughs> how did he get it? Yeah. We didn't even notice him take it. Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah. And we did some other shenanigans as well. Yes. Lots funny. of shenanigans at the end of that, that yeah. stream. Uh, yeah. So let's get into the first game. It is mm -hmm. Uwal or Uval, depending on what country uh, you're from and how you say it. Um, so let's take a look at the original game which is actually from the ZX Spectrum. Nice. Made it all the way up to the Jaguar somehow. Wow. An 8-bit game. Um, and it was originally developed for the ZX Spectrum in 2009. Let's take a look at that. Um, and then it was ported to the Sega Mega Drive in 2010, March. C64 in August 2010. Jaguar, the one we're going to play in 2017, and then the Amiga in 2018. And then in 2016, a sequel came out called Super Uval, mm. um, and it was re uh, released with a two-player option. Nice. Um, and it was developed by the Mojon Twins. Okay. So, you collect all the coins, jump on platforms, make, make your way through a pyramid, <clears throat> very like Montezuma's ah. Revenge. You have to go through all the pyramid and collect all the coins. Um, then it was um, offered for sale on the Jaguar. Uh, let's see. Oh, very nice uh, box art there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, very nice box art and a nice orange cart to match the uh, orange character. Uh, Pallades Games, um, you could order it from them via Etsy or directly from them. Um, but their Etsy store is shut down as of August 2022. Oh no! Uh, it said, the, the message on there says, The shop is on holiday while life's journey takes us to a new life in a new country. Oh, so but, moving. Gotcha. But I did find a store where it's still for sale. Mm. But order at your own risk because 
I don't I don't think they updated this store. Oh, I see. Um, and this is on Pilates shop dot dot com. They may have forgotten about this store. Oh, I see. Um, but it's on this one for forty five uh, uh, pounds. pounds. Yeah. And they have a, a free version that you can download, which is the one we're going to play. But that link does not work. It downloads oh. a very small file and you can't even open the, what is it, a, but a you RAR found, file. But you found a, a version, yeah, a digital version. Yeah, it's in the version. forums, the Atari oh, okay, forums. good. That's good. Um, and this also was, um, came in first place at the Silly Venture 2017 competition in December 2017. So mm -hmm. it is a very fun game. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. And uh, Tonma, uh, one of the developers, posted December 13th, 2017, uh, in terms of making the port, we used the Mega Drive version by Shiru with his agreement. Mm. Uh, Mars improved all the assets with more color and animation. And Mars is the one that told me about this game, oh. alerted me to this game. Cool. Cool, cool. And I was like, oh my God, this is right up my alley. You I love, love platformers. platformers. <laughs> so this looks so good. That's a compliment to how good VH said C's games are. Uh, you don't notice a cat steal a plushie <laughs> right in front of you. A like, big plushie. Big too. plushie jump. <laughs> but to the cat's credit, it's the same color as him. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I, you wouldn't notice. It's not just a part of his fur. Yeah. If he stole this. I think we'd see that right away. So he was very smart. Yeah. <laughs> so very, very good observance, nostalgia. Um, so let's get to the game. And I'll read out um, information about it. There you go. Jaguar. Switch over to the Jaguar. Oh, no. Not yet. We have a poll. Oh, my God. Mm. I almost forgot about Getting the Getting ahead of yourself. Yeah. So excited about the games today. I am very excited <laughs> about the games. Uh, so, the poll started up. Do you see yourself uh, buying another console or computer? Like, the ones you have are the ones you have, but... Could you ever buy another one? Would you want to buy another one? Do you have too many? Do you not have enough? Mm -hmm. uh, the answers are one, yes, more please. Uh, two, depends on the games. Uh, number three, I'd like to, but I can't. Too many, no room, too expensive. Or four, I got have the ones I want. I've got them all. I've sa saturated myself with all the best consoles yeah. already. Fair enough. Um, I think... I fall into category three <laughs> for various reasons. Uh, I do have too many. I don't have any more room. And the ones I want cost too much money. <laughs> there should be a three and a half, which is my wife would murder me if I bought another one. <laughs> I can get as much as I want as long as they fit in this room. It, as long as they, that is exactly correct. But as long as they fit in this room, you can buy as many consoles as you want. Literally like. to the ceiling. <laughs> surrounding us like <laughs> right to the ceilings uh, so there's no room and they cost too much but i do have a lot of the ones i want i haven't like been eager to like oh i really want that system no I maybe know like true. um i know that's true a zx spectrum or something yeah yeah zx spectrum that would yeah. be very cool some of the european uh computers uh look pretty cool and they have a lot of lot of games for them that maybe weren't ported to other systems. Um, Neo Geo would be cool, but oh my god! Even just the system and then a multi cart for it—that's like a thousand dollars. They're big, right? Too are oh, they big massive, systems? Yeah, I thought they massive. were massive. Yeah. Um, Don't they look like VHS tapes too? The, the they carts. Do. They're almost exactly the same size. Yeah. But I wouldn't buy those because they're three hundred dollars each. Yeah. Just for the game. Yeah. So I. What I would do if I had the space and the money for it, I would buy the system and buy a multi cart, and then you can just play all the games. Yeah, and you don't need to buy, buy all of them all. Yeah, um, Pet Mini because I'm weird, says Carl G. Oh, Spectrum that's cool. Next. I don't know that Spectrum one. Spectrum Next, I assume it's the same group yeah. that made the ZX Spectrum. So, yeah, that's like the I don't um, know those ones so much. An updated modern Spectrum. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, um. Just like the RMX 800 XL. Gotcha. It's okay. like a new version a that new plays version. all the old stuff. Uh, and Nostalgic would want an RM 800 XL. Yeah. Or if Analog ever makes a 2600 7800. Mm. Um, you can play 2600 games if you load the core on Analog systems, like on the, on the Pocket. 
you can uh, load in a 2600, 7800 core, which I actually have, and they have output <laughs> to the TV, oh. HD output. So you essentially do have an analog 2600, 7800. Mm -hmm. And I played it on my TV. So it, unfortunately, the cores are very old. Mm -hmm. and you can't play a lot of um, homebrew on it, oh. but you can play the classic the stuff. Classics. They made sure all the classic That's cool. stuff, but... Um, Alan the first says CPC 464. I'm not familiar with that. Can you fit an afterburner arcade cab in there? I, yeah, that wasn't in the options, but I don't know a what that is. Cabinet oh. arcade cabinet. Oh, an arcade cabinet. And, so and that I'm, okay. and I'm guessing he means the sit down huge one oh. that moves, <laughs> which is super. Okay, cool. fair enough. Uh, I would not be totally against like an arcade cabinet somewhere, but I yes. I still don't know where it would it's go no in our house. So it's no room. I would not be against it, but there's literally no space. There is for it. no space. You'd Maybe have in to... our bedroom. There's crap in the bedroom. Though. Or if we get rid of that crap. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there yeah. Might be room. Here's a thought: get rid of that crap, and you can put an arcade cabinet <laughs> in there. Ooh, there's incentive. <laughs> there's incentive. Um, uh, by homebrew, you mean carts with arm chips? No, there. Even more than arm chips, there's some bank switching schemes that they still haven't been implemented. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, there's a bunch. Uh, what else? Pet mini. We're witnesses. She said cabinet's okay. <laughs> yeah, got to clean the crap out of the bedroom. It's recorded. It's streamed. It's archived. That's <laughs> yes. right. Do not be shocked if someone hasn't come with a cartridge <laughs> interface slot for Mister, so those homebrew carts will work. Uh, yeah. It depends on what um what mister uses for their homebrew if it's an up-to-date um stella version then it would work but usually even the mister one is old i don't know if the up-to-date stella works on it but anyway mega 65 everyone's putting their wish list yeah they are <laughs> in the chat they're good wish. if anyone they're if anyone list. has any of these things and they want to sell it now might be the the place to <laughs> i mean analog if you want an fpga solution analog pocket is probably your but most affordable, FPGA? best option. The analog pocket's really nice, too. It's super nice. It's portable, and you really can plug nice. it in. Yeah. It goes in your TV, wireless controllers. Yeah. It's the ultimate solution is why I bought it. Yeah. Um, okay. Hard to get, get your hands on, though, because they're they're quite backlogged. In, uh, in, yeah, um, it's about a year. Yeah. Uh, I was sad to find the cartridge reader in the Retron 77 doesn't support a lot of modern homebrew. Mm. No, it support, doesn't even support all the classic Old? games. Really? But... You can play any game if you update the software on the Retron 77 and load it via the SD card. And all the cartridge reader does is dump it to a binary. So you're doing the exact same thing if you put it on an SD card and plug it in. So don't, don't bother with the cartridge reader. It's useless and just dumps it. So don't just think of the Retron 77 as without the cartridge slot and just use the SD card, it's quite good. Mm -hmm. The Retron 77 mm -hmm. outputs to the TV, HDMI. It's got all the options with a very up-to-date Stella. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really good mm -hmm. for portability and price as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't poo-poo on it. It doesn't do paddle very well. And I don't think it does a lot of the weird controllers, but for joystick games, I'd give it a mm -hmm. an A. An a? It's really uh -huh. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't use it because I have a RGB well, you're, Atari twenty six hundred. You're modded. You're, you're yeah. modded real hardware, so yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the um, results. I'd like to, but I can't. It is in the lead with forty six point two. I think we're all in the same boat. We've saturated ourselves with everything we want already, up to the point where we can't. We just can't do it anymore. And or the prices of things have gotten so they high, have. people just go, "That's that's a step too far as far yeah. as what you're willing to pay." Right. Second that's another place. part of it too. Yes, more please. Twenty three point one. I'm I'm I can still buy like um, tabletops and gaming and watches because yeah, you small. like those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got a bunch. I've got my yeah. eye on one. Uh, I shouldn't say. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> somewhere um hmm. and in third place 21.4 percent no i have the ones i want yeah a lot of us have collected everything that we want and uh depends on the games in fourth place 7.1 percent hmm. nice now it's time to get to the game uval uval okay uval 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 
Uval. Uval? 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 <laughs> I don't know. Depends how you want to pronounce yeah. it. Okay. So, it's in today's date. Is that today? Yes, it is. The bin? Ah, uh, the bin, I believe. Yes. Swap it over. Exciting. Mm-hmm. Big game it is. How big is it? Four megabytes. Oh, check is a little lower than other systems. Oh, as far as the through my the setup speaker, anyway. yeah, yeah. So I need to crank oh, it. is it through the TV? Oh yeah, hmm. always through the TV. I just don't have it hooked up to the surround sound. The surround, yeah, yeah. Mer. Oob, ooh, UBH Res Productions. Like the cow. It's playing a quest for money. <laughs> a uh, a version of money. Hopefully, um, YouTube doesn't uh, strike it down. Oh, and this is by. It's not exactly the same. Song. No, it's, I think it's yeah. far enough away. So Hopefully. this is by the OCO team, uh, specifically Tonma, yeah. uh, and uh, Marshall Davod, uh, Daviod, uh, whose name is Mars, mm -hmm. who did the graphics on this. Uval Quest for Money. The mm -hmm. Quest for Money is the whole title. So let's see if we can see the next screen again. Don't, don't press anything. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't press. Anything. So there's a credit screen. In the next one. And goes away too fast. Jaguar version by Osio or Oshio. I'll have to ask Mars mm. how to pronounce that. That's the problem with the only reference points are text. Mm. So it's like, I don't know. And it's a very Pac Man ish um, yeah. um, thing going across the screen. It's like, oh, chasing, and then it gets chased. Yeah. Okay, so let's press the button. One of the buttons. Try them all. Hey! You are entering. The mansion. There's no turning back now. Nice. <laughs> uh, yep. Samples. So there is the pyramid. Mm -hmm. You've got four lives. Uh, score zero, and your coins collected are zero. So before you start, okay. The basics are collect all the coins. Mm -hmm. You can jump. Uh, you can fall from any height. You're fine. Mm -hmm. And then when you collect all the coins, all the enemies disappear. And you get to choose between Which path? different paths. So I would just go down the left path or go down the right path. Do you have path. to get everything or do you just have to get to the bottom? Once you get to the bottom, it'll loop back to the top again. And then you have to go back down. And then you have down. to go back down. So gotcha. I wouldn't start going random because then you'll yeah. have to cross over. Unless, but does it restrict your path? Like, is there some circumstances where you can't go left or right? Mm, don't know yet. Okay. So, okay. Um, and also if you take too long, like in... Um, Bubble Bobble yeah. or Berserk. Does something come and eat you? Yeah. Okay. Something comes and chases after you. So there Fair you enough. go. So, uh... ah! so it's fairly safe on these levels because there's some places to kind of hide. And you press the B button to go down for some reason. I guess so to differentiate between, oh, you want to jump. Does Jaguar support 2D scaling rotation? Uh, Gamma Dev says, on steroids. Oh, it's a sample from Haunted Mansion. Oh, is it a poor man portmanteau of Uwe Boll? Oh, maybe. Makes sense. When this came first out, he was known as, we'll do anything for money. Uh, get that t-shirt. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. If you get hit, you lose your shirt. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, funny. Um, and if you don't oh. get your shirt again, the next hit will kill you. But if you get your shirt, you, you, have, can, you have your shirt again. And you can get hit once more. This guy's so fast. <laughs> He's very fast. Um, okay, so let's read so the actual I can only go down and to the left. So there, it does sometimes does restrict, you. restrict you. Mm, so there are paths. Get your shirt. Oh you, oh, you got it. Okay. okay. The plot. Uval likes money. One day he heard about oh, Storm Palace. No! Go down. 
Quick, press B. Oh, you go. can go across the yeah, screen. That's, that's, ah, you that's have to way remember to that. Away. That's definitely the faster way to, ah, I find a. And remember, you can go across the screen on the platform too. Can you? Not in this screen. Uh, one day you heard about a storm palace, a very old manor full of gold coins that is located next to the Can You Toss Forest. Can you toss? Can you toss? Although the mansion was guarded by dangerous creatures. No. Oh my get your god. Shirt. Ah. Uh, oh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know if it refreshes every level. I think it does. Although the manor was guarded by dangerous creatures, Uval decided not to give up until he at least got 255 coins. So that's how many coins oh, there are god. in the whole thing. Get the turret. So it does reset every level, which is good. So if you make it to the exit... You get your shirt back. Nostalgic. I like the mechanic of being able to get hit and recover your shirt. So do I. It's... I'm trying to think of another game that you, you can caught. kind of recover. And I know there is one. You get totally caught on the edges. Oh. Now this one you will have to loop. Oh, that's how you do it. There. Well, you missed your shirt. Now you're dead. Yeah. That's okay, I get it. Sonic rings, yep, that's one. Looks like he might get his shirt back. He's smiling again. Oh, if he's upset. That's how you do it. Ugh. Yeah, so he's smiling now and then he frowns when he gets hit. Uh, that's a good way to tell. Oh my God, it came so fast. How, how do you avoid him? How do you avoid him though? Like I barely took two. Do I need long. to get do I need to get coins faster? Yep, need to power through it quick. How do I even and stop d dallying, dilly dallying there? Remember, the last coin gets rid of everything. So yeah, but do I have to get coins at a certain rate? Because that blue ghost came up. That was very fast. Really fast. But you got to move like go go go. Remember, you can get your shirt, so you get back. So even if you get hit, you still can I mean, can that might recover. even that might even be a a tactic. A tactic? Oh. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> it's it's really you get caught on on the edges really easily, but yes, that's do. part of the challenge of. Oh, stop it. Oh, come on. How do I even? Oh, I, I that's how I do it there. Yay! And the timer doesn't reset when you get the coins for the guy in the bubble. And I'm guessing because he's in a bubble, it is an homage to Bubble Bobble. Even though the guy in Bubble Bobble doesn't have a bubble around him. Oh, that's my bit. Not enough money! I think I'll have to enter the mansion once again. Gotcha. So it starts at the top. So now you this, have to start at the top every time. But I don't think there's coins because there's a specific number of coins you have to get. You just go through. There you go. And oh. the bubble guy comes immediately. Well, the, the, the ghost. Yeah, the ghost. Kind of looks like Jake from Adventure Time. It does. 100%. No! <laughs> You're gonna win this game without me even playing. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I'm still, I think once you get used to the movement, it definitely gets a little easier. Uh, the problem is that it won't be very easy. Yeah. The cellar of Storm Palace is quite deep and are full of nooks and crannies. Besides, the intricate disposition of rooms make it very easy to get lost. You go back to the starting point. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> Did you die? No, I just went down the wrong one. I meant to go down the other. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some fancy stuff then. Maybe. Uh, that's what happened to Uval. His greed made him get deeper and deeper into the manor, so he got lost and trapped in the lowest labyrinth, inhabited by Vampy, Frankie, Fanti, and Wolfie. Oh, they all like uh, creatures from uh, monsters. So there's a ghost. Oh yeah, they are. I didn't notice that. Remember, you can't fall down that pit. It's death. Mm. You can always get your shirt back. Oh, you made it. 
Nice. Oh, oh no, shirt. And ghost. No. Get the coins. Try and lead them on. Yes. No. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Oof. Some of them only have one path, so it's going to be hard to uh, find your way. Gameplay. The game is about to steal the most amount of coins possible. Uval won't want to end his mission until he collects a minimum of 255 of those. The mana rooms are arranged very much like a pyramid, starting from the very top. And after you clean a room of coins, you'll be given a chance to choose which path, left or right, to take. You select a path walking over one of the arrows, which is appears, and pressing down. Or at the bottom. Uh, no. I don't know how lives. I made, made it good. through that. Did you get an extra life? Or? I don't think so. No, I, I just haven't so. died again. Ugh. Gotta go faster. Just have to not Several check. guys coming. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, how did you miss that guy? I don't know. Ugh. Oh my god, you missed him again. <gasps> It's amazing. It's like you barely jumped over him or something. I don't know how I did it's that. a pyramid scheme. Yeah, it is. Did the Jaguar have many 2D games in its retail life, or mainly 3D? Um, that's a very good question. For like, I have played one <laughs> classic game for the Jaguar. I just play homebrews. really matter if you lose your shirt if you're just about to win anyway. So. No, it doesn't. He's smiley again afterwards. I guess he finds his shirt quickly. Uh, it's, it's getting caught on the edges there. Yep. Um. Yeah. Gonna go down the left the whole time. I think this is running too fast. It was designed for PAL. Oh, okay. Is it? Oh. Yeah. You mean these guys are moving too fast? Everything. Maybe the, the music, too. Well, I don't have a PAL Jaguar. Well, I don't plan on getting one. Not really any need, as far as I know. Most... I guess Jaguar is independent? Doesn't matter? You can play PAL? Is it re it's not region locked? Nope. Not enough! Not enough money! You wanna play? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. We can swap out a bit. Right. Oh, there. Do you want to finish? You, you don't have much. Okay. You, you finish that first. And if you get to the bottom of the die. pyramid, you haven't gathered enough coins, you have to get the back and, uh, and start back to the top. Start over. This time, you should choose another path because the already visited rooms will be empty. Uh, use the pyramid map to know which rooms are visited and which aren't. Um, no locks. There's solder points on the board. Most people fit a toggle switch. Oh, okay. Um, a good question for Cyrano. Oh, my God is one that came up before. How many... Oh, Oops. Gamma Dev is answering it. Mostly 2D games. 3D was not its forte. Scaling games, it could do well, so the games like Hang On, it could do, but something like Ridge Racer, it couldn't do well. We'll this shirt. is bad. These guys keep going in different directions. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> do you see them? They're changing directions. They're not predictable. Or maybe they are. I, just I think they are predictable. Oh, they are predictable. One's going fully across, I know. and one's just going there. Oh my god, yeah, I'm just gonna get killed now. <laughs> oh my goodness, you have to go. You have to loop. You have to loop. No, no, no. Oh no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna die. You have to go the other way. Oh no. Guys. Go. You have to go the other way. I know, I know. Oh. No, 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 just. There you go. Phew. I'm surprised the ghost didn't come. The and timing must be different. VVG Double Down NBA Jam is the best on the Jaguar. Oh. That's not what I wanted. There, mm, this one's a little tricky. Oh, come on! Oh, now you're in trouble. So I'm here. Oh, it did work. I fall down three times. Oh, 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 oh my god. So oh, Get your I shirt. keep doing it wrong. Don't, oh, it doesn't no. matter. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. Oh, he lost the life. No, I. I... Okay. Oh, 
Oh, come on. It's like once you figure it out, it's not so bad, but... Stress me out. It's weird because sometimes okay, the ghost. Okay. Sometimes the ghost comes really fast. <laughs> mm, okay. mm. Oh God, Pit! How do you, how do you have to do this? NBA Jam is the best on the Jaguars. It's BBG Double Down. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you start over then. Killed all your lives. Uh, I don't know if... Um, I only had two. I didn't leave you with much, so... <laughs> well, you started with three, I think. You only died uh, once. Maybe it's four? Oh, I thought it was five. Oh, really? Yeah, I could be wrong. Come on. Four, four. Four maybe extra, so five. Maybe. Maybe with a certain number of points. I'm going to go down the right-hand side this time. Are you... Cause... Did you start over? Is this... You have the same number of points as before. 205 coins. Oh, what? Bug. Maybe it continues then. Bug. There are some, there are some bugs on this game. But the screens are not um, highlighted as, as if we got it, so I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's... Ah! Careful when you do that. So sad. At least you get a bit of a reprieve. You're flashing yeah. for a little while and you can just run into things. Oh yeah. I, I, I think there's um What? Oh, to go to the next one. So weird. Thinking that makes like sense. that. <gasps> oh. No, no, don't worry about your shirt. <laughs> when you're when you're done, just yeah. Your shirt doesn't matter. Well, the the um, enemy was. I still had to get. The oh enemy. yeah, yeah, to dodge that. That, problem. that uh, ghost. Mm. He's fast. Oh, oh, what? You got it. I pressed jump and it didn't jump. That's what. Good job. Thank you. Oh my god. See? Well, Some levels, he comes immediately. It's because there's only two on this level. I want to say you have to... I don't know. Maybe the rate at which you get them slows the ghost's arrival? Or maybe that's just the level design. <gasps> oh god. Get it? At least running to the other side. There you go. Good job. Nightmare. It doesn't matter losing your shirt. Like, strategically, you can lose your shirt. Yeah, but I... And it helps you through it, so... You don't lose anything. Oh, strategically losing your shirt. Yeah. Like, oh, well, I, I'm... If you're about to finish the game, I don't know you get more... You don't get any coins or points, do you? So. No. Oh, God. It starts you off in an almost deadly... Oh my god, there's only one coin in this. Mm. Oh, you have to go around. Do you? Oh no. There you go. Oh, oh no! Yeah, it's very sensitive. Oh my god! It's very sensitive. <laughs> Don't turn oh. back. Because <laughs> I can't jump I know, because you get caught. You get caught on the corner. I go too far to the right. Oh, finally. It's so p picky. Like, if one pixel of you mm -hmm. goes off the screen, your whole body goes off the screen. Yeah. So that's what you have to think about. I love all the little monsters, though. Super that cute. Oh, God. 
<laughs> it's down the pit. Can't get it. Poor naked oh. guy. No. Lose, lost his shirt. How do you get out of this? Run to the right, probably. Yes, jump off to the right. Nightmare. Nightmare game. Left. Nope. Oh, damn it. Right. Did this level last time. Yep. Oh, good job. Doesn't matter which one. Yeah, I guess it doesn't yeah. matter. Come on, guys, cheer up. I'll buy you some beer. It's weird I have 206 coins, but. Yeah. Oh, what? 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 You must have gotten enough coins. <laughs> it only said 206. Weird. Okay. Because it added to the last score. Yeah, uh, there's some bugs. <laughs> yeah. But we did it. We won. There's Yay! the end screen, I guess. <laughs> uh, super cool game. Very cool. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. Be nice to get the final version so we can play it properly, traverse. I guess you don't have to traverse the whole thing. You just have to get enough coins. Well, you don't have to play through the whole. I don't board. know. It, if that's a bug, then maybe you do to, to get that number of coins, or maybe. you have to get through more of it. But, but combined between us, we still didn't get to every room. No. Nope. Really fun. No. Great platformer. Great mechanics of the shirt. Yeah. Really great mechanics of that shirt. Um, okay. Oh, the uh, pause button skips to the next level. If we ever needed to do that. Oh. Cool. If we're in trouble or wanted to make our way through. Nice. The next one is Biopede. So let's load that up. Biopede. Which is a port of centipede. Centipede. Millipede. Do you like to attack centipedes, huh? No, oh, yeah. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. He'll crunch up the bugs. Is it the first one? It's today's date. Is it the first one? Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, I need to load it. It's not in there? No, it's not. Oh. Silly me. Tell us a story while I... I have no stories to tell. I think we told the story of the kitten stealing the stuff, so... It's a bad kitten. Yeah, you're a bad kitten. Yes, you are. Yeah. What stories do I have to tell? Uh, you've much. just finished the Witcher books? Oh, well, not all of them, but well, the first three. The first three books. And yeah, they're they a Christmas present. The TV show, the game, what yes. how does it correspond? Yeah, because I think there are about seven or eight books. Some of them are more like novellas, I think, or short stories. Um and the season one I think was related to the blood of elves or one of them. But then the last book I read really doesn't correspond to any of the T V series yet, so I think they're they're jumping around a little bit in the timeline but um uh so far i really enjoyed them and i'm gonna have to re-watch the tv series before season three comes out and um i may want to start replaying um witcher 3 so there you go <laughs> what's what's up of course when i try and do something it's like i'm gonna freeze the program that you what? need there we go oh good thought you meant the the stream went no, down no, that's all good yeah Oh, I'm really pissing off the cat right now. <laughs> he's really, I'm, he's, he's attacking me. You're touching him too much? Yeah, I'm touching him too much. He's like, pets are good, too many pets are bad. Yeah, this is, I'm sleepy. Don't touch me. Oh, there's a gray cat in the corner, but he's not on camera either. Oh, kitty. Oh, Atari. He's like, you're not giving me treats. Yeah. I'm not appearing on camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's in my contract. It's in his contract, yeah. Okay, we're ready again. Excellent. Hopefully. Oh, I got cat fluff in my eye. Ooh. Never ending problem. Mm -hmm. Cat fluff absolutely everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Let's try it again. Biopede. Mm. Can you hand me the controller? Mm. She's having difficulty. Cat fluff. There we go. So Biopede uh, by Re Reboot. Lauren Stavely, Cyrano J, and Rold Strauss for the music. It's a one meg game. The Jaguar. Press a B. Oh, or you can wait it out. I did, but. 
Uh, based on the classic game Centipede Millipede, you must defend against nice. waves of horrible nice. biopedes, spiders, butterflies, and the garden skeleton. Mm -hmm. Because every garden has a skeleton, of okay? Of course. <laughs> biopede. It's very, very creepy very background. Nice. Looks like a web You're lost in some sort of organic, yeah. alien-esque web. Nebulous. The path through it. Yeah. Play it in advanced mode, says In the Cyrano. options. Okay, press option. Which Op is option? The one labeled oh, option. option. Okay. Uh, change it to advanced mode. Okay. Standard advanced. Uh, I don't know what the controls are. Uh, Absolute and... Inertia, inertia on. on. I'll stick with an uh, we'll absolute, absolute for, for now. now. <laughs> yeah. Centipede with a D-pad. <laughs> oh, there's some more credits. There we go. And got their high scores. Okay, B to play. Shoot, shoot the centipede, shoot the baddies, shoot the mushrooms. This one's louder than the last one. I can't see now. Thank sorry, you. Sorry, no, sorry. Move up, up. I can't see. Well, move up. They're on the bottom. <laughs> um. The beautiful princess will pop up if the shrooms start to get low in numbers. I'd like to extend thanks and gratitude to the people of that site for giving their talents and time to the community. Change from standard to advanced in the option screens to add more enemies and other things into the game. There's a unique scoreboard for both modes. You can also change the controls to enable disable inertia, which might be good, might be bad. So this one you stop immediately when you stop moving, which is can be better for precision but there's something to be said for inertia. Oh, Spidey. So Spidey. Three more segments. Oh, the skeleton. Just turned into poison what? mushrooms. I think those explode they... if you shoot them. Do they? That's what I'm guessing. Oh, no, they take hard, take more shots to uh, get rid of. Yeah, some people in the forums were saying, can you add mouse mode? And... Um, Nice, nice backgrounds, by the way. And that was a resounding note. Yeah, very nice backgrounds. Nice colors. Um, ah. Let's see. And on to October 10th, 2020, Cyrano J posted, as mentioned in the Dragon Keep thread, smaller free releases is something I've wanted to get back to for a while. So here we are. We're still getting hammered one way or another by COVID and all the other joys. 2020 is we're out of the planet. So the sentiment stands that hopefully folks can have a few hours away from the real world with a new game and some fun. Um, and unfortunately, and coincidentally, Biopede, which I did not know, was part of the Jaguar High Score Club, season 17, and the round ended nine days ago. <laughs> so we could have oh, no! played as, as part of the High Score Club, and I didn't even notice. I need to pay more attention to the High yeah. Score Club. But a lot of it is like... Oh. Those high score clubs, yeah. they usually don't include homebrew a lot. So it was like, so I, I barely look at them. So when they do include homebrew, I'm like, ah, damn it, I missed it. Um, top score just eclipsed the second score, 633,000. The second score was 42,000. Only two more thousand and you're on the board. I don't know if they may played in advanced mode or simple mode. I don't have that those notes. And it was just posted today by Cyrano J, who's in the chat. Biopede will be on a cart with a few other games. I don't think it's good value on its own. It'll be something like Brawn and Brains. So they have few. So uh, Reboot has future plans to release this game on cartridge, bundled with a bunch of other um, games which would be very cool because somebody because I posted the graphic because I always make up fake carts for ones that don't have real carts and somebody was like oh, I'm drooling at this the site of biopede on cartridge so um, it's kind of started a discussion about it releasing on it on cartridge nice so it looks like it's gonna be on cartridge ah, no, right into too it much. skibinismo oh well you got very into um, eighth place <laughs> so we could have played uh, played in that high score club. Nice. Okay. There's a lot of homebrew in the Jag high score. Oh, i got to pay more attention to it because other ones for 2600, they always play like 
Cuban um, Ismail, everyone does like watermelon. <laughs> ooh, watermelon. Uh, so, uh, Cuban Ismail says that's from his daughter. Just all caps, watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah. Was there a watermelon I missed? Says I everyone reading. likes watermelon, and I agree. Everyone does like watermelon. I was reading too much. It's a lot of homebrew in the JAG high score competitions this year now. Nice. So we'll have to pay more attention to that. Hello, Chelsea Mao. Thank you for, hey, for coming. Hey, Chelsea Mao. Late is, late is fine. Yep. But, because you're this here. This is the second game. Yep. Always watch what you miss later. Yeah. It's jumpy. I think I've just changed a setting I shouldn't have changed. Spidey's coming out. I thought it was because the last game was PAL, but it is it's jumping around and I have it on triple buffer. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, VVG double down. Watermelon candy, yes. Watermelon Kool-Aid, yes. Real watermelon, no thanks. <laughs> Here's the thing. A really like ripe, sweet watermelon is fantastic when it has that oh, yeah. sweetness. If it's not sweet, it just tastes literally like water. It can be not too, as good. But too really woody beautiful sweet. Or too mushy. It like, can be. Both of those are bad. But when you have a nice ripe watermelon, mm, Oh yeah. Very, very yummy. Nice and cold. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Butterfly. Oh what? <laughs> Did I die? Mm-hmm. I just died. Mm-hmm. After half a second of being alive. That uh, moth or whatever it was went right for Cheap. you. Cheap. Cheap death. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Oh, I hit the one before it. Yeah. Oh, I did worse than you. <laughs> Wait for it. I'm going again, because I did worse. I had a cheap death. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan, because it's often played with the... Um, roller ball. The roller ball. I really like it with a controller. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. I find it a lot easier to play. But I mean, I'm not used to the rollerball. I haven't played it a lot, so. All right, all right. Oh, it clears out some mushrooms that are too low, which is good. <laughs> Your nose says nobody noticed. <laughs> nobody noticed my deaths? Yes. Or the, um... No one noticed the death. No one noticed the immediate, the immediate, <laughs> the immediate death. death. Yeah. The cheap, cheap, immediate death. <laughs> oh, I noticed. <laughs> I like I like how the levels start with a few random, random little segments yeah, and get uh, some variety. It's really good. And then some come straight down the screen too. Grr. Not not just not the moth, but some of the segments come straight down the screen. I, I've oh. yet to shoot one of those um, running. Is it a dead? Did you say it's a, it's a skeleton? skeleton yeah. it, I was thinking oh, a, gray, right a gray a uh, gray alien, Damn but uh, the skeleton works too. Oh, the levels ended. Good. I'm fine with the joystick for home versions that were made with them in mind. I don't yeah. know if I could play Centipede or Millipede on a 2600 without a trial. Damn it, that owns right yeah. on you. Um, it's actually pretty good with um, the D-pad on the... I'm totally fine with it, actually. This? This um, game? The controls. Oh, yeah, the controls yeah, are great. Really yeah. good. So I did a great job, Cyrano. Uh, the poison shroom split the biopede. Oh, damn it! I'm so stupid! I shouldn't hit it because it goes straight down because it hits a mushroom that you create. Oh, that. Why do I go for that? <laughs> Don't go for it. Okay, your turn. Okay. I'm going to, before we do that, I'm going to switch the um, the visuals. It's driving me crazy. The visuals? There's a controller. Hmm? Um, just the setting. Oh, I see. Oh, on the, on the TV screen. Yeah. It should be on uh, Genlock, I believe. No one can see this, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, they can see it. Oh, they can see it. Okay. I don't care. No, 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 it's no. I mean, they, it, does this show up on, on that screen? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is not bypassed. Gotcha. Let's see if that helps. It's stuttering. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That's better. Way better. Way smoother. That spider. Things that are killing me are the spider, the moth, and me being stupid and shooting a mushroom, shooting a biopede, and the next one just goes right down out. Yeah, me. you do have to be careful about that. Yeah. So I'm not going to shoot them when they're very close, and I just need to completely avoid the spider. I like how the spider gets caught up on the mushroom. <laughs> he kind of got trapped. Yeah, yeah, blame the capture light. Oh, I definitely was not blaming it, that's for sure. It was, um, it was just annoying me. It wasn't really impeding my uh, playing ability, thankfully. It looks way better now. I needed to change it to triple buffer for the 2600 um, because it just runs things a lot smoother on the 2600. Ah, you ran right. So I just me. changed everything to triple buffer, and obviously that is not the right setting for Jaguar. Everything kind of needs their own individual settings. Looks more like a bat, actually, now that I'm looking at the spider. I think it is a spider. Oh, yeah, because the original is a spider. Ah, ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you can shoot. Oh, oh you can't! It that went was down. Stupid. No, 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 because it hits its own thing and then... And it always goes down it goes when down. It's hit it hits it. Yeah, Because yeah, it was on its way so up. so careful. Interesting. Okay. Really, in um, Centipede, what you do is you make a path like that, and then you get in between the path, and... Um, it just killed the whole centipede. Kill it! Get it! Uh, zombie. Now the green ones change back? Yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> I like shooting the I mushrooms. Do. <gasps> you got it! Got it again! Oh my god! And it just, ah! it just don't comes go back. for it. Don't go for it. It's too dangerous. It you just got, it's dangerous. better to dodge. <laughs> better to dodge. Uh, the arcade game Centipede was developed by a woman. Yes. And it, do you remember her name? No. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> but you're pushing me. Uh, no, because uh, we were at um, oh, the, the Vancouver Retro Gaming no. Convention. And they had a Q, They had some question and answers for prizes. Oh, do you remember? Yeah. And they said. Uh, I won some of those. And they mentioned no. They mentioned her name. And oh. they said, "What game did she um, develop? develop?" And you were. Oh, see, I'm talking too much. You were the only one in the room who you were like centipede. <laughs> well, I waited. Yeah. I, I didn't really want to win, but nobody answered, so I went. Centipede. There were a lot of kids in the room too, so it was kind of like you kind of want to give people the opportunity. Donna. Donna Baylor. Baylor. Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and but I think you knew she was at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Portland. One time yes, she was. In the audience. Very cool. Yeah. 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 You did a great job there. Let's see if I can play. Give it one more go. Try and not do what I've been doing to die. Ooh, that guy came right down. Ah, yeah, ah. he's 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 two hundred points though if you get him. The um, spider. Yeah. So when you hit the mushrooms, they don't Ooh, kill thousand. you. Ooh, thousand. Ooh, that's you one really worth getting. Really want to get that guy. Nah. <laughs> oh my god, it's huge points. Okay, now I know what I'm going after. It's going down. Yeah, get the skeleton. That's Ooh. huge points. Beat up on the shrooms. Oh. Bring on the princess. Oh, okay. Very nice. Tammy was beating up on the shrooms quite a bit. I like beating up on the shrooms. <laughs> I think you can go higher than the spider. Sorry, higher than the spider? So that he can't oh, get you. Yes, like you can. Like you go up and around and he can't touch you. Yeah. That's Definitely. good to know. <laughs>
try and get some more shrooms, but it's just too crazy. Maybe if I just leave it down to one um, background. No. It's not worth the points. Whatever points you get from him. That guy is. <laughs> oh, 100%. Daughter number two, when I play video games, I just shoot in one spot. I eventually shoot something. <laughs> yeah. Again, not a not a terrible strategy. Not a terrible strategy. Going for the shrooms. <laughs> There's one guy left. Oh, maybe you can just... Um... Oh, yeah, there was a rule in the uh, high score challenge. You can't just do this. Leave, <laughs> leave, leave one um, bio... Oh! Leave one biopede left. Oh, Oh, yeah. what the... What, was that the princess? Oh my god, what was that? Came down very fast. I guess that's the flea. The equivalent of the flea in the original game. <laughs> Oof, that was... That almost gotcha. Yep. Oh, there's too many tiny things all over the place down to do low. Try and leave one again. Nice. That was five. Uh, I think I showed a mushroom at the same time. Oh, I see. I was like, that wasn't very much. That's not very fair. Nice. Yeah. Oops. I think I finished the board. <laughs> Ooh. Snowy, snowy background. Almost I'm getting the hang of how to play this. Enjoying the music, Serena. Yep. Great relaxing, nice music. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Butterfly. Ooh. It's doing something. It shifts it everything, everything up, down? I think. Or up. up or down, I can't tell. It's a pretty butterfly. Yep. Time to rack up some things. That spider is definitely nice. That move, moved it forward. Maybe the other one moves it back? Yeah, I think it moves oh. it back. And the other one moves it forward. Neat. Neat. Nice. See? Yeah. Well, getting getting good score now. Well, yeah, it's not. I'm kind of cheating. No, <laughs> you're not. According to the competition, I am. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? Is I that the know. princess? Oh, oh my god, so stupid. Rolled makes great tunes. Yeah. Good oh, tunes. Yeah. Good tunes. Oh, it drops. Is that the flea that drops a uh, line of the mushrooms? In the original game, it's the flea. Yeah. But, um, it that's, looked that's like the I princess. Mean. Does it look like it added? Yep, she's mad now. <laughs> she's mad now. Oh, God, there's too many. Oh, I almost got her. There's too many. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Knew it. It's just too many. I'd like to shoot her. Let's see what happens. Ooh, clumpies. Damn it! One life left. Nostalgic. Don't mention Princess Peach. I'll have the Peaches song in my head again. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. Oh, no. One more. One more life. I think I've got a, got a couple extra lives. Every 10,000? Not sure. Oh, is, is it from the movie? Peaches? Yeah. Oh. Or is it the Nostalgic? Vancouver artist Peaches? The Van or uh, the presence of the United States of Peaches. America. Peaches. That could Peaches be that. Peaches come in a can. <laughs> they were put there by men. Uh, uh. 
Did they have? Oh, uh, I thought it was no. going up. <laughs> 33. That was very, very good. I didn't play by the rules, so I can't well, count this against good. it. Yeah. Princess Peach, you're murdering all my subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, excellent game. Ooh. Great game, Cyrano. Ooh. That's going to be really good addition to a mm. compilation cartridge. Mm. Um, yeah, looking forward to see what else uh, goes on it. Yeah. Jack Black's song from the Super Mario Bros. Uh, movie. Oh, we haven't okay. seen that yet, so... Yeah, yeah, that is a brilliant game. Yeah. Uh, are there any games... I guess there is no rollerball for the Jaguar. Um, there's a mouse for the Jaguar. Um, is there any, has anybody made any adapters for a rollerball for the Jaguar? Hmm. I haven't seen it or heard of it, but mm. Cyrano would know. Mm. Uh, okay. Time to go to the last No game. Roller ba rollerball, but there is a mouse and rotary. Rotary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to put that together. I just got a rotary. Rotary wouldn't work for this because you need to go up and down. Um, hmm wonder what kind of mouse it is, whether it's like a PS2 mouse, because there are some thumb rollers, like Darcy uses one, a trackball. Can you use a trackball on a PS2 adapter? It's exactly what I was thinking. Darcy uses a trackball on his computer yes, instead of a mouse. Yeah, yeah. And that acts like a mini one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. PS2, USB, and Amiga ST. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can kind of get a trackball with a tiny, you could. tiny one. Yeah, cool. cool. So we're going to be playing uh, next up and last is R-Type 2. Oh, you're going to love this. Also by Lawrence Stavely, yes. Cyrano J. Yay. It's in the chat. Um, this is from April 7th, 2021. It's a four meg game. Um, oh, don't load it yet. Um, we are going to take a look at the arcade version of it first mm. to see where it originally came from. Pop this in. Ooh. That was loud. Sorry, everyone. Ear piercing. <laughs> uh, so let's skip to where they're actually coming. Can we get rid of this stupid suggestion? Oh, at the top? Oh, yeah. um, R-Type 2 is a horizontal scrolling shooter developed and published by IRAM. It was released in the arcades in 1989. Now, there were a lot of ports of this game of various kinds. Yeah, various systems, um, I'm sure. But the first one didn't appear until nine years after the arcade. Really? Usually they appear a like sooner? a year, the latest two years after. Really? So it wasn't on any home consoles? Zero home consoles. Really? So just in the arcade? So way after. Was it the, very the manufacturer, or not the manufacturer, but the developer just didn't want it to be on any other platforms? Well, it's a pretty complex game, but it, some of these true. systems exist. I think it's some enough, like these systems existed that could Have make a version tried? of it. Yeah. Um, the first one is PC Engine 1998. Uh, kind of, but it's not really R-Type 2. It was the second half of R-Type, so that doesn't really count. Mm. Super Famicom in 1991, uh, half the levels were new, and the other half were arranged versions from the arcade. So that still wasn't a proper point. And that was uh, released in the Wii Virtual Console in 2008. Then um, Amiga and Atari ST, it was a uh, faithful t downgrade, but they were missing some of the weapons from the arcade. So. Uh, then Game Boy came out, uh, but it only had five levels, and the names of the bosses were changed for some reason. Were they offensive for Nintendo? Then PlayStation in 1998, uh, and that was uh, a first one, I believe. Then Xbox 360 in 2009, PS3 in 2014, uh, and it was part of a compilation called R-Type Dimensions. Then Steam, PS4, and Switch in 2018. Uh, it was also part of a compilation called R-Type Dimensions EX. Um, and then physical copies of that game were released for the PS4 and Switch in 2019 for limited games. Um, pretty sure I have a copy upstairs of that. Um, 2000 for the PS4, which I would have got. 
3,000 for Switch, and the Collector's Edition, 1,000 for PS4 and 2,000 for Switch. So, let's actually get, yeah, lots of ports of various... So let's actually boot up this one. This is a conversion from Atari ST mm. um, for the Jaguar. Okay, boom. Go for it. So uh, up, down, left, right is move. Mm. B is fire. Hold to charge up your fire. C is auto fire. Auto fire. Uh, a is release the option module, optional mo module, and pause for pause, and you can quit by pressing those two buttons. So C is auto fire. So what yeah. is that compared to B? Sorry. B B B B or, or hold. C. Okay. Yeah, um, but you can't charge up by holding down C. You have to, to do a charge. big fire. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then A again was. Looks great. Uh, a releases your optional modules that you get, so you can let them go and do their thing, and then you come back. To they can oh, come back to you. Okay. You can shoot faster tapping B. Okay, so if you want to tap, 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 tap. I tend to like tapping unless your fingers get sore. Um, so. I don't know if there's any reason not to shoot. Like some games, it's like, oh God, I shouldn't be shooting that. I don't mm -hmm. think that exists. Look at all those high scores. Of Cyrano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Perfectly a, a thousand. Um, those are amazing scores. Scores apart. You quit exactly What's on the What's the thousand. start button? Uh, usually B. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought there was, like, is there a start button? Very nice. Taking off from your uh, Ooh, spaceship, your curved ship. <laughs> Very nice graphics. Shoot, 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 shoot. You can see your charging beam at the bottom. So if you want to charge up, I believe that goes through two phases. And if you charge it up, it goes through multiple ships, not just one. Mm -hmm. If you hit a ship, it... You can go through There's power up, lots of power ups, lots of extra modules you can have added on. So yeah. There's one of them. That can attach to the front or the back. This? Yeah. Oh. But you said I can release it? Yes, with C. And then it'll go kind of act on its own and give more. Um, and then I can get him back. Yeah. Can I just hold I, on to him? Auto Fire's cheating unless the original game had it. Well, this game has it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mm. Uh, I did. You have no idea how long fixing that table took me landing on those scores. <laughs> Cart image still has biopeed. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, time two. Here's my another homemade cartridge. Later. The player controls a ship called the R9C, which is an improved version of the predecessor's game, the ship R9. The ship's design was changed oh. slightly. Oops. I didn't even through. notice the, the shots coming at me. Oh, Sometimes yeah. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes they're so <laughs> The background, slow or the background uh, obscures it a little. That's they my blend fault. In. Yeah. My fault. Uh, the wave cannon was given a new charge level. This is information about the arcade version. Two new types of weapons, the search laser and the shotgun laser. Oh my God, just Did I? Yeah. See, I'm Somehow. missing them. I'm missing them somewhere. They move really slow, so sometimes it's hard to see. So it's always a good idea to charge up when there's nothing on the screen, because then you're ready for that. Right? Uh, bring a total number of weapons up to five. A new anti-ground unit bomb was added to the missile inventory. Though the number of levels was decreased from the previous game, the number of enemies, their durability, the number of bullets they shoot were greatly increased. Enemy movements and terrain were also made trickier, bringing the game's difficulty up considerably. The same revival system uh, is used in our type where the player is brought back to a checkpoint whenever the ship is destroyed. Uh, the game consists of six levels. Though the ending screen is displayed after the player finishes all the levels once through, the game's true ending is only displayed after the player completes the levels a second time under increased difficulty. The game starts off in a ruined Baido base and continues through a giant cave where waterfalls can prevent the ship from progressing. The player battles several huge battleships in the third level, and the terrain constantly shifts around during the fourth and fifth levels. The final level takes place on the Baido home planet, where alien organisms are cloned and mass produced. Power ups. Straight edge gamers don't use auto fire or turbo. 
<laughs> HXCX. <laughs> Straight edge gamers. I. I think we've had discussions about cheating. Um, yeah, I've always had issues with cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and and whether um, if something exists in the game, is it cheating? If there's a bug in the game, is it cheating? Or is it like, well, I can do it, therefore it's not cheating. It's their fault for messing it up. Or extra peripherals. Are they cheating? It's things that didn't exist in the minds of... Oh, I touched it. Yeah, in the uh, minds of the original creators. Like, well, the original system never had a turbo button. So if you add a turbo button, that's cheating, right? Those kind of things. It's an interesting discussion. We had that with Darcy. Uh -oh. mm, could be a problem. Oh, oh no! Shoot me off the way. Ah! Uh, oh, I should have let that guy go. That's what I needed to do. Depends if it's a bug or an Easter egg. Yeah, is a bug cheating if you're taking advantage of a bug? Because a lot of time is in games. I will go out of a room and go back into the room because you can like get more things by doing that sometimes. There you go. Now oh, you're doing it. Come back. You actually have to shoot that thing at the end to stop them from. Coming back? Yeah. Oh no. There you go. Wait. Oh, okay. so they're still shooting at you from the. Come on, you. Power up. Uh, oh, now he's running. Oh, you got some bouncing lasers. Nice. Wait, Game Genie is cheating? Oh, no. That, I think most people can agree on, is definitely cheating. Of course, there's also sometimes built-in codes. Like the Contra code. Or on PC games. Oh, you ran into the wall. <laughs> that was... Oh! <laughs> Thank you for following Mac Apple. Very specifically Apple. <laughs> oh, continue. Yeah, let's keep yeah, continuing. You can take my continue. That's all good. I know you've played this game a lot more than I have. Uh, so. Not that much, actually. Nice. I like the cats. Oh, somebody put some cats? Yeah, uh, Mac Apple has a little cat. Uh, oh. I don't know what you call them. Not Icons? Mochi. Icons, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Nothing. Don't give me anything. Sleepy but black cats. Sleepy cats. Very sleepy. There, that's the nice one. Just send them forward. Shoot them forward. Get in there. Get them all. Get them all, dude. Take it. Take care of them for me. Nice. That's actually got to be really good for us. Yep. Power it up. Oh. Get those lasers powered up. Get ready at the top for them. All right. Boom. <gasps> God, you just have to dodge them? Uh, speed up, sister. Oh, S is for speed. Ooh, Ooh. what was that? That was great. I don't like that too. Oh, are you gonna lose your guy? Oh, yeah. oh he comes survive. back. You want him on that front end? Oh, God. Ugh. Didn't see that till it's too late. Bullets are very hidden sometimes. Okay, let's make him the bat baddies here. I can't, I can't fit him to one student first. Let's speed up. Much better. Kind of better. You get more control if you're slow. Mm -hmm. 
your other guy's not shooting either. He doesn't shoot unless you shoot. Okay, full power on the beam. He's there. Right in the eye. Boom! Charge it up again. Charge it up again. Nothing's coming. Get the bottom eye. Okay. Oh, you lost your beam. How come you can't shoot those things? You have to hit, you have to hit the eye when it shows up. Oh, there's so them. many. Oh, oh, god damn it. There's so many of them. How do you kill them? So, get the top eye right at the beginning. Oh. Charge up your bean. Get the bottom eye because oh, it comes up okay. next. So, dodge the other things. Just try it. I don't yeah, know if that's going to work. That makes sense. Um, but I, you might be able to get them. Hi. How is your day going? Yeah? It's very catty. Yeah? <laughs> Fluff, fluffy and catty it's day. So fluffy. Throw the op option in the bottom eye. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was going to say charge your beam option. again and then go... Pfft. That would work too. I got it. I would hope. Get him on the front, I guess. Yeah. It's on the front. These guys. Charge up my laser. Big laser. So do you, did you met, I don't know, I was playing, so I, I wasn't necessarily listening to everything you said. No. Do we know who developed the original, um, like, art for, was it just in, inspired by, like, H.R. Geiger, or, oh, too late. I think you have to get it immediately. Oh, I can clear them out. There, with... there. Yeah. Oh my god, two hits. Yeah, good stuff. Wow. I figured if you got it right away, you'd get it. <laughs> um, a lot of um, shooters around this era went for very um, organic looking. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't the screens. first. Our type wasn't the first with this style, or? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, it was an early one, like the first R type was very early. Mm. That would be a good piece of trivia to know which yeah. game was the first organic looking H.R. Geiger mm -hmm. um, style game. Oh, my God. oh, that helps a lot, actually. Yeah. Be there, though. Oh, funny. That's better. Mass destruction. Nemesis Salamander. Salamander. Okay. I mean, obviously, Aliens came out before these games did. Yeah, so, 70, Alien, Alien, I should say. Alien. <laughs> um, 79. 79, I so. I don't know if that was the first. Other than the art, the first sort of. That kind of look? I yeah, think so. um, like video animation representation of that style? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Uh, there might have been. I'm sure there's organic looking space things before yeah. that. Now I want to look it up. Now I want to <laughs> I want to I want to see the history of that. That style. Yeah, yeah, I mean science fiction's been around a long time, so there's probably very similar art and visual Ooh, missiles. styles missiles. from even before that. But... Anyway. Oh my god. Oh it my god. Exploded into three. I couldn't shoot it until it explodes. Okay. Power it up. Biomechanical look, yeah. Biomechanical. Yeah, I, um... Which path, which path? Probably the smaller. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm sure there's a YouTube documentary somewhere. Oh, God. <laughs> On all of that. Oh, there's too many of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I gotta get ahead of my guy. Ah! <laughs> oh, I knew it. I was too boxed in. Yeah, good job. We only have two credits left. <laughs> only two. Uh oh. Now I'm down to pea shooter. Oh no. You tend to get it back easily. Oh, there's the missiles. Helps. Oh, they heat seeking, are they? 
Uh, are they missiles? I don't know. Oh, Turn back up to it. Oh, my goodness. Boom! to stay well back yeah, so, I can, uh, so I get too far ahead. Go around. I'm too slow! <laughs> too slow! To I couldn't move faster than them. How many buttons are you using? There's three on the Jaguar, right? But you're only using... One is for the shots. Um, one's normal auto shots. Fire, one's auto fire. It, yeah. It's very slow. The auto fire is super slow. Yeah. And C is for releasing my, my dude, but I don't have a dude. So, Nostalgic, I, I agree. The same issue with shooters. Um, this is one trouble I have with shooters. If I die and lose my power up, then I lose the rest of my lives quickly thereafter. And it's it's usually what happens. You have to keep your upgrades or your kind of hoot. to kill but once they get behind you well that they explode and become three I'm just gonna shoot absolutely everything oh oh, it, oh he went oh, away he good went away. oh another upgrade help her help her bot help her bot help me do something what are you doing what are you doing? He's floating around here. <laughs> he's not doing anything. <laughs> I guess he's there to run into guys. Did you release him? Well, he wasn't even attached to me. Yeah, maybe. So. Yeah, these games have can have a vicious death spiral. Yeah. That's yeah, true. But I was mm. fully, pretty much fully charged going into this, but I didn't understand what these you know, wiggly dudes are all about, and I need to get them immediately. Some heat seeking missiles, so that takes care of all the, the guys that are kind of all over the place. No, no, no! Oh, God. It's trouble again. Trouble? No! I'm too slow! And exhaust my credits. I think there's only one. That goes to zero next time. And then, so this is like the last round, maybe? I mean, th that same thing happens to me with shooters. You get to a point, and it's it's over. You, you just cannot recover. You have to get to a certain point on the level after dying mm. to get enough power-ups to be able to continue. I'm not quite there yet. I'm really close. I'm so too far. Get them to hit the top. If you oh, get them there we to go. hit the top or the bottom, you're okay. Bottom. And they'll come and hit hit the. Oh. They just destroy themselves on that. Oh, good. So you, there are a few little tactics to stop them from overwhelming. You have to get between. Something has to get between you and them, and then they'll just die off on it. Yeah. Do you know what that is? I think it, it just blocks. Oh, come on. Is it a bit of a shield. A bit of a shield. Oh. And you can't release it? Oh, oh ah, no. thank oh, you, Oh, just dude. in time. Thank you, dude. Oh, just in time. No, 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 shoot him. Shoot him. Power up from what's coming. Oh, no. speed up. Oh, I bet I can't go there. Nope, something else just died in that column. Damn it! Oh, no! Oh, and all the power ups! Oh, oh no. you just have that last screen to At do, I guess. I made it to a new checkpoint. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh, maybe you 
can't really hit him. Can you kill him? Oh, he's just releasing things. I bet I can, but I just... Oh, oh my other guy's helping. Yay, thank you, helper. No, I don't want to do it. Oh, what? Oh, no! Uh, so you know that's why I cheat when I test things. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Mm. Even the people who are developing the games, yeah, it's too hard for them. Get it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go right to the bread. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Not a good place. No, nope, I gotta get out from under yeah, there. Yeah, you gotta get be past him and then. Or... Oh no, wait, you probably do have to be below. Is there enough room above? Because that's kind of because he's releasing he's a below. Tight. I don't know. I can go he, above. He does shoot things down too, but maybe it's all down. I need that. I'll wait till he releases something and then there. go past. Oh. Yeah, he does throw things from the top. Come on, release something. There, go, 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 faster. Oh. I gotta go above, but I want. I think I'm done. And then it continues. Oh. Nope. Very good shooter. Very yeah, hard. Excellent. Very hard. Graphically impressive. Just beautiful. <laughs> Great conversion. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Cyrano, for, for making that game. All right, the center of the cloud yet, Spock. <laughs> oh, they're talking about Gamma Dev. You know, if you were skin this game and have a fairly accurate adapt, you'll have a fairly accurate adaption of that first half to Star Trek: The Motion Picture. <laughs> the ship moves the same speed. <laughs> the motionless picture. picture. Yeah. Oh, funny. <laughs> funny. Ah, <clears throat> uh, some great games today. Let's turn this off. Less background noise. Oh, look at this little flip. So we played uh, Uval. We're going to go with Uval. Uval? Um, the well. Quest well. for Money. Oh, Very fun platformer game. Yeah. We won it. Well, we went through well, enough We levels. didn't get through all the levels, though. No, but yeah. we went through quite a few yeah, levels, yeah, which yeah, was I'd love nice. I'd play that if it was a complete, you know. Yeah, yeah. but it's not available right now on no. Cartridge, it looks like. So maybe later it'll be available. Yeah. Um, Played Biopede, excellent. Awesome. Um, Centipede Millipede yep. uh, port. Yep. Good job, uh, made Cyrano. by Reboot Games. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Cyrano and R Type 2. Great awesome. uh, fun conversion mm -hmm. of a, a beautiful looking shooter game. Right. Uh, shmup. Yeah. Uh, really fun. Hard like every other shooter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you die, you kind of you kind of screwed. Um, but very, very nice. Mm hmm. Uh, congrats, Cyrano Reboot, on your two featured games. I almost have to do two reboot games yeah, uh, every, every time. Every Jaguar? Every Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. And you throw in another one. Otherwise, uh, it's almost impossible because there's so many reboot games and so many games that Cyrano has converted mm. over from Atari ST. Yeah. He kind of rules the roost. <laughs> <laughs> For the Jaguars? Um, yeah, but yeah. there's uh, a bunch of OCO games that I uh, discovered today while doing research. Oh, nice. So, I'll be able to line up a, a bunch more Jaguar games in the future. Good. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, you're so sleepy and cute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Your games are always a pleasure to play. Mm -hmm. They're so much fun. Um, and there's so many more I have to play. <laughs> <laughs> so many more. And more that are coming. So I'm looking forward to those. Um, so let's take a look what's coming up. We've got a lot of really special shows coming up. Uh, on zero page. Let's take a look at my calendar. Uh, we're going to be doing a Jaguar Rotary Controller special um, coming up soon. That may that date may or may not change. Rotary controller. Because I was shipped a rotary controller, gifted okay. a rotary controller. Yeah. So I'm going to mod one of my controllers so that it has a spinner, spinner knob. Nice. Um, so I've got a number of them down there tempest 2000 arkanoid downfall plus impulse x kaboom kobayashi maru project w virtual experiences pong rebooteroids i'll probably divide it into two um two nights two nights because that's a lot that is a lot of games. especially for games <laughs> some of those i have not played at all yeah um and if anybody knows any other because i got that list from a fairly old list mm -hmm. so i'm sure there's been some that have come out since then cyrano probably knows a number of them um, mm -hmm. 
we're also we have also the exclusive world premiere of Space Taxi. Yeah. It is amazing looking. Yeah. It is uh yeah, so and that's on the Atari eight bit system. Nice. Tempest, the only one you need. Avoid spikes. <laughs> spikes do kill yes, you. They do. A lot easier with the rotary though. Playing it out with a joystick is just terrible. It's not a good experience. Um we also have an exclusive world premiere of To Be Announced. Mm -hmm. I can't announce it yet. We may give hints leading up to it. I haven't discussed it with uh, Old Style, what we're going to do, whether we're going to say what it is, which I, I'm leaning more towards revealing what it is before we play it, rather than revealing it on the show. Mm -hmm. Although he has a track record of making some good games. like he, mm -hmm. He's the one who made Mario Brothers, an astounding mm -hmm. port. Uh, for the 7800 and an interview with Old Style. Yay. He is such a good programmer. Nice. Um, and then it, and that's the beginning of uh, June. And a little bit later on in June, we're going to be playing Caramujo, uh, which translates to snail in Portuguese. Mm. It's a 2600 game. I've been beta testing. It's coming together very nicely. The graphics are superb. He's posted some of the screenshots in the Atari Age forums. It's quite a twist. The game is quite different. You control a snail. Mm. And he's slow. And you think, a slow, like it's the slowest moving character in any game, <laughs> in any video you game. have ever played. Mm. But it works yeah. because of the way the levels are structured. So nice. that's really interesting cool. game. So they have exclusive world premiere of that on the 2600 early June, mm. early mid June. We'll see how that times out. Um, so next show, um, don't know what we'll do. It's either going to be 2600 or 7800 for sure. Cause I ran came out from, um, I was going to say XKCD, uh, from VHZC, mm -hmm. uh, for the 7800. So I really want to play that, but there's also a new update to Kovi Kovi, um, that I want to play as well. Um, and my Lynx joystick is coming back soon. So as soon as we get that back, we're going to be playing some Lynx games. Uh, On Duty, Bug Hunt, Fortitude, Lawnmower. A lot of those are from, o I think that all from Osio or Osio. Mm. I'll get a pronunciation before we do that. <laughs> um, for the Lynx, uh, slower than Captain Toad. I can probably guarantee not even knowing what Captain Toad is, uh, that it's slower. Where's my search bar? There it is. Captain Toad Treasure. T oh, Captain Toad Treasure. T oh, I better mute this. <laughs> Nintendo's gonna bust my ass. Oh, way slower. <laughs> way slower. Well, that's not fair. He's pretty slow, but oh no. This snail is slow. <laughs> slow. Slower than Zootopia DMV? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know that character, uh, the sloth? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, faster than that. That yeah. guy's really slow. Yeah. Uh, so lots of really fun shows coming up. Um, so stay tuned for those. And, uh, of course, we're back to regular schedule. Tuesdays, Fridays. Yes. Yes. Fridays. Uh, Tanya Tuesdays. Tanya Tuesdays. Trizzle Trop. Trop. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for enjoying. <laughs> And um, following. Yeah, uh, Tanya Tuesdays and Darcy and Ireland Fridays. Yes, and it's Darcy. Darcy this weekend. Darcy this weekend, yeah. Um, and then it's the weekend after we have our movie marathon finishing off. It's nothing to do with the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But Darcy's going to have to come back. Oh, for the movie marathon. For the movie marathon. Yeah. And we're finishing off um, the... What's their names? Brothers... Oh, uh, the, uh, not Russo. No, Russo. Um, That's what I was thinking, too. Why did that jump into mine? Safty. The Safty brothers. brothers. Yeah. Yes. So we have movie marathon. Three movies of yeah. theirs? Yeah. To yeah. finish off. That yeah. should be interesting. Should be good. But what am I going to do tonight? Cuphead. <laughs> da, da, da. That's what I'm playing tonight for the PS4. Just nice. got it today. Excellent. And I'm going to be rearranging all of this. Okay. So that the 2600 is always there. Okay. And it's kind of going to look like this, where it's going to be the guest console we'll that's going to be swapped out. That makes it's sense. It's packed with three. Well, you've got so many cords. And then I'm going to clean up the too. cords. I was going to say <laughs> that would be good. A lot. Yeah. Um, Are you going to have some kind of cord organization yes. thing going on? Yes. 
Yeah. Um, so all the video connectors are always going to be there. Okay. But the power connectors are not going to be there. Okay. Um, so everything's going to be really clean because I want to get rid of as much interference as possible. Mm. And I, I think that'll help. If quite you could a bit. almost have like an open like shelf, little shelf or box that you could hang them in the in what behind. they do. There's a little opening in the back of that that they all go down. Um, so I'm. But gonna... something that that would actually like hold them in. I don't know. I feel like you could you could mock something up. I'm gonna try and do my best with that. Yeah. And I'm gonna like tie things together, mm. like especially all the power cables and mm. then all the video cables. So really most of the video cables are gonna go to one point right there yeah. where the guest console is gonna be. Okay. Um, and it will clean up this whole thing a lot because right now there's all the cables for all the systems. Yeah. It's so too much. We'll just do a zero page after dark cable manager. <laughs> Mm. And that's what it'll be. That's, that's enthralling. <laughs> an hour of James trying to manage the cables mm. behind the TV. Labeling, <laughs> labeling all the cables. I'm it will be enthralling. <laughs> and I'm going to try and get like smaller cables for some of these. Yeah. Like get a bunch of one foot cables because I think I have like three foot HDMIs. And oh my. Like just really clean just it up. Just clean it all up. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. Cable management, man. Yeah. Who knew that would be a term like cable when we were kids? Cable management. Yeah. Cable management. Like there was no cable management. You just had to sit two feet from from the console. It's because there was no cable. Exactly. <laughs> the you TV have... was here. The console was there. You sat on like, the floor. Before VCRs, there was just the TV. <laughs> yeah. And they, and they had a plug, and antennas. There was nothing <laughs> going to the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless you had a, a remote control that had a wire, yeah. then you had one wire. That's then true. you had VCRs and consoles. Yeah. And then you had stereo systems. Yeah. And like, oh my God, it exploded. Yeah. You'll be surprised what people watch, watch on, on Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. I bet there are streams, not streams, but YouTube, oh. you know, ASMR equivalent of cable management, especially for network cables. You, like, oh, let's make them all perfect. You know what? Put those little clips along them. Just say nothing. <clears throat> yep. Play like the meditation music, you know, ding, ding. the stream or whatever. And then it'll the just hum be of James. The fan of the server. Very slowly unplugging oh. the cable, wrapping Click. the cable, wrapping the, the, the Velcro, slowly putting the Velcro around it, <laughs> carefully putting it, plugging it back in into place. Power. Click. Click. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR cable management. <laughs> whole new subgenre you, you never knew you wanted yes. and now tvs have two hdmi ports or more yeah and have a gazillion yes. devices to plug into them yes yeah it's like, not better it's worse. rendered ghost the sound, sound of, of my evening <laughs> yes we all know those sounds oh uh, too well yeah thanks for tuning in everyone yes, um oh console with the best cable management oh. kind of yep they Single reduced cable. it down Made it zappy. Zappy? Does it give you a zzz as you Oh, went? yeah. Oh. I've been zapped. My, mine has been upgraded, so That's it doesn't good. do that it anymore. It doesn't zap anymore. There's, it's just a straight barrel plug. Nice. Um, thank you, ITC. He's not here, but yeah. he did that for me. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. Sorry, Cafe Man. <laughs> In the last two seconds of it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Cafe Man 2D. Oh. Gavin Dev. Oh, you want to show those off? Yeah. Okay. I made more coasters. Let's go to the cat can. This is what I do with any residual resin that I have. I make zero page coasters at some point. Cat can? Yep. So. Don't see. lean on the controller cords. I'm, not, I'm just sliding forward. Look, you got to deal with your cable management issues. So there's go back. one. Oh, yeah. There yeah. we go. So it's shiny. And so that's gold. golden pink it's got pink and alcohol ink and a bit of gold alcohol ink in the background there i'll try to tip it around we're getting caught oh, there sorry. you go sorry pay attention probably back it off just a bit yeah it's too yeah. close to go. focus there you go there we go try and catch the light there nice page. and then i think one of these i, sh I think i showed this one before which is my pink nebula one that one black. i like a lot it's and very then nice color. i also now have my green and blue nebula one here. Ooh, I can't that one's one I did really nice. With the black circle, so there you go. Are Twitch points able to buy those? <laughs> no, cash, yet. cash money. Cash money, yeah. Because you have I'm to pay for try shipping. And, um, make a bunch, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. But Etsy. Yeah, Etsy. Zero them page up. Etsy store. Yeah. So. 
Um, and I have some plans for some new t-shirts because I need new zero page shirts for me. Anyway. Yes. If anybody you... else wants to buy them, that's fine. But yeah. I, I need them for me. I need a Jaguar shirt. Oh, I found yes. two Jaguar shirts. Yeah. And they both are like so plain and ordinary. One is just Jaguar and with the claw marks and mm. then one's Jaguar with the eyes. It's the only two shirts that exist on the internet for Jaguar. Mm. So I'm going to have to make up my own Jaguar shirt because they're so, so plain. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, little Jaguar. He's a Jaguar. Hi. Would you deny the cats their treats to buy coasters? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no. true. Would you but deny if, the cats? No. But if you buy the coasters, they get more treats <laughs> from the true. money the coasters. That's true. Yeah, so you actually are funding yeah. the treats, yeah, not enough. taking away the treats. <laughs> oh, but yeah, if you use the points for coasters, that denies cats treats. That's true. No, Can I send the ho cats home happy or want me to hold off? If you want to do it, do it right now. Um, we can do either catnip or we can do another uh, out of 10 um, because I can read the names off while they, uh, well, actually, we'll do, we'll play it. Yeah, you can send yeah, a cat. Go for happy. it. Those coasters complement my ZPH pillows. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Let's see, here I come. Yeah. <laughs> I like it's this treat time. Yeah. Nice. Yum. Yay. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, the gray cat. You can hear him lomp, 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 lomp all the way downstairs. Yeah, I'm going to try and get, I'm going to try and make a bunch because I'm, I'm using resin to make some stuff right now <laughs> for James yep. that I've been trying to do for a while. Yeah. So those, uh, uh, those trophies will get out there. They'll, one day. they'll get out there. They are handmade. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're special. They're, they're this taking year. a little time. Um, but Three yeah, dimensional the, sales the excess sales. resin will go to coasters. So I'll be making coasters. Can you shut the door? The extras. Oh, are we doing a, we're doing treats, right? Treat time from Rendered Ghost. Nice. You ready, kitties? Thank you. you. Got the treats? Ready? Three, two, one, drop the puck. Oh, both oh, got it in. Oh, one, one. One, one. Oh, you got to toss his way over. It's one all for the cats. Should have done catnip first. See if that slows down the black cat. Good experiment. Oh, oh my God. Double ding. Two to one for Sprite. Come on, Atari. Catch up. Come on. Ring it. Harder. Oh, harder. Harder. Oh. oh. Three, one for Atari, Sprite. Atari, try it again. <gasps> No. <laughs> Sprite is like, Here. what the Here, hell is happening? Push that a little further away. Yeah. Okay. You'll you'll get yours. Go ahead. There oh, you go. Good, good Three, guy. two for for Sprite. <laughs> you think that'll help? No. Four, two for Sprite. Got to throw them way in there. Service. Service. I asked for treats. Oh. Oh, four, three for Atari for Sprite. Or five. I lost track. I think five, three. Five, three. He lost Come on. it. Come on. Come on. Harder. 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 Come on. Don't be so gentle. Oh, 6 3 for Sprite. Oh, caught it in midair. Come, Come on. on, ring it. Here, here. Harder. Get it. So Get dainty. A good snack. Oh. oh, 7 3 for Sprite. I'm going to give you one because oh, I He's catching them in midair with he? both his paws. Oh, my kittens. He's so bad. Oh, my goodness. 8 3 for Sprite. Oh, oh you got to smack it. Come on. Smack it. <laughs> I feel bad for him. He's, he's struggling with it right now. 8-4 for Sprite. Yeah. 9-4 for Sprite. Oh, he hit him in the face. <laughs> Sorry. It's game point. Oh, 9-5. Oh, Good, Good one, Atari. Good kitty. And game point. Game Sprite's point. almost on it. And oh, he, does he doesn't 10. even look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh see? no. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. Sorry. It was in a tiny little window. Oh, they saw. They saw, but it was yeah. small. Okay. No, no. I'll give you each one more. Here. Oh, sorry, everyone. Sorry. Tiny little window. That's okay. Was it 10? All again. Five? <laughs> All again. Oh. Oh, good kitties. 10-5? Oh. Atari, what happened? He just he just wasn't as enthusiastic. He got... He did really well the first time, so... Yeah, Even he though did. he didn't win, he came very, very close. Oh. It's so hot. <laughs> it's going to get really hot. Friday is going to be a sweaty day. It's going to be 30. I can't wait. 30. 30 this weekend. 30 C. Whatever that translates to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be really nice. Uh, thank you, Rendered Ghost, for uh, giving those cats some mm -hmm. treats. They will won't bug us as much. Rookie numbers. <laughs> well, yeah, where you're from, that's for sure. <laughs> Down under. Um. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Rendered Ghosts here in a reboot 
for all those amazing games you keep awesome. giving to everyone. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Uh, Vitoko, Gamadev, Dan, if you see Chal Sadani Mao, uh, VVG Double Down, uh, Teleprompter, um, Vitoko, Gamadev, Chitlala, Cafe Man, uh, Mac Apple, uh, yes. Dan ABC, Cubanismo. I'm probably repeating names. Gamma Dev, place. I know. <laughs> VVG Double Down. Same ones. Urban, Urban Monkey. Monkey. Carl G. Al Nefer. Nefer. Prow 7. Nice. Retro Gamer 1975. Woo. Uh, Chitlit La. Chitlit La. Oh, I think we got I think them we've all. covered everyone. And all those people who are lurking. Yes. We will be back on uh, Friday with some more games. You got someone in the do I? Yeah. There you go. Uh, back on Friday with Darcy. 2600 or 7800. Mm. Don't know just yet. I'll have to finalize the lineup. Um, but definitely tune in. It is an early day. Mm -hmm. uh, noon slash 3. Noon Pacific time. 3 p.m. Eastern. And 7? GMT? I can't remember. Um, so we're back then. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. And have an awesome evening. Yes. Bye-bye. Have a good night.